All right, guys, so some really bad news today. The Biden administration on Tuesday firmly ended the Trump era immigration policy that forced asylum seekers to wait in Mexico for hearings in U.S. immigration court. So these are people that Border Patrol deemed to that for a little while there that did not meet the asylum um, policy. So they said, OK, you can wait in Mexico. So there's a there's a couple lawsuits over that way back when. But this is really bad because. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas is a known globalist. He is for ending borders, and you have him as the borders are. Well, actually, not that's technically that's Kamala Harris, but still, you have this policy end, and now you're going to have at least seventy thousand asylum seekers now flood into the United States. And what's the whole point of this? Because eventually, like I mentioned, this side wants to make everyone citizens. So who are they going to vote for? Right. This is your tax dollars being used to take care of economic migrants, mind you, when we're not taking care of our own homeless population and our veterans. So this is really backwards thinking, right? We need to take care of our own before we take care of uh, others, in my opinion. And yes, situations are terrible in their home country, but if you work with, you know, with the those countries to help improve their own stuff, you know, their own status over there, then you won't have as many people coming over to the United States. So instead of this bad policy, we need to build the wall. We need to just enforce our immigration laws. And then everyone who's here illegally, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, you know, eh, this is just, this is a bad situation, guys, because it, it's going to lead to one party rule once the, once the Dems say, oh, we're going to give citizenship to everyone, right? But, of course, they're saying this would not be consistent in the administration's vision or values and would be a poor use of department resources. Well, they're using all of our resources right now, our tax dollars, to bus and fly people into the continental United States while they await hearings. Uh, now, they cite violent conditions in Mexico. So why don't we have a wall again, right? If, if Mexico is so violent and the cartels down there, why don't we have a wall to protect us from the cartel? And all the human smuggling. So on that note, guys, um, there is a rally tomorrow. If you can make it, I'm just reporting on this here. Um, this is Wednesday, uh, June 2nd at 5 o'clock. Northwest corner of Scottsdale Road and Mountain View Road. So that's 9880 North Scottsdale Road, Scottsdale, Arizona. There's a rally tomorrow discussing. Uh, they're going to be protesting uh, the end to the wait in Mexico policy. And Borden, uh, Biden's poor border policy so that's where to go tomorrow if you want to protest kind of protest whatever um just be sure to remain peaceful because this is what this is a peaceful protest um and hope to see you all there i'll be in attendance doing some video uh if you want to do interviews all that good stuff and then the other thing um that we're working on right now i just got the draft video my buddy's been out of town so he just got back and was able to look at it. So we have a draft video that we're working on from the event last week, which we still need to post. And we're going to be posting that, giving us or giving you guys our review of the crisis at the border event with uh, Mike Gallagher, Dr. Sebastian Gorka, Seth Liebenson, and Congressman Andy Biggs. I think I got the signed photo up there. So I was <laughs> looking up the names. But um, Trump's policies work. I talked to Dr. Gorka, who was uh, Trump's Homeland Security Advisor. Or one of these advisors there. So he's seen the night and day difference between Biden's policies and Trump's. And Trump's were way better. Our borders were secure compared to Biden, who just opened up the floodgates. But again, that's all part of the plan. Build back better. All that kind of good stuff. Like all these can all these candidates ran on that who are the more globalist leaning, right? That are putting foreign interests over the interests of Americans. And that's not QAnon, that's none of that stuff. Literally just follow the money and who donated to whose campaign, right? A lot of countries ran with the slogan this time of year, build back better. Biden was one of them. And now you have the people in the country that are not supposed to be in the country, for one. And you have terrorists crossing. You have people that are claiming asylum who are truly economic migrants. You have criminals that are crossing. You have the cartel that's crossing. And Border Patrol is so hampered with the illegal crossings because where they're going to be crossing, right, is, uh, let's see, let's see in, if I load up, Imperial County, California, right? So I'll give you guys an example here. 
So here's Imperial County, right? Where they are smuggling people in, right? They have dirt roads that lead all the way out here, right? So what they'll do is, for example, people will cross right here where the wall ends. While the cartels, I mean, you can see there's some paved roads up here. Well, not paved, but there's enough foot traffic that you can see the paths, right? Will cross and then bring their drugs up through the mountains, and then they'll have uh, drug runners and people in, like, souped-up vans or trucks meet people on the other side, and then they'll load that in and then drive off through uh, the, the, yeah, Jacumba, uh Wilderness Area onto the roads and then evade police. Now this is the same area too along the border here in Mexicali that had the wall, the, old, the older wall knocked down by the cartels. And then you had those people die outside of Yuma um, after getting in a uh, chase with the Border Patrol, right? Um, they, the driver of the human smugglers crashed into a semi and a lot of the people died in the, um, in the, in the truck or the SUV because there was just very bad conditions in there. They had the vehicle like stuffed in like sardines. So, um, anyone who supports Biden's failed immigration policy, please take a look at your politics and reevaluate them because if you support Biden's policies, you support human smuggling, you support drug smuggling, you support rapes along the border because that's what's happening with this human smuggling. Innocent girls are being raped because, you know, that's payment for the cartel, right? And if you don't pay the cartel, they'll kill you or they'll kill one of your family or they'll put you into slavery, right? Why do we support those policies? We need to fight the cartel. Instead of opening up the borders, we, we honestly just need to fight the cartel. Go to the root of the problem there. Obviously, get to the um, um, the other countries' issues, right? Have some political influence on that so that people want to stay in their home countries and that their home countries get better. But we can't be accepting so many people. We have homeless on the street, right? Look at downtown Phoenix. If you go downtown Phoenix here, right, guys, by the courthouse. And where is it here? Yeah. So right over here, if you go into Street View right here, right, where is it? There you go. You can see the tents. Tent city over here, a bunch of homeless, right? I would rather see our tax dollars spent helping our homeless than you know, some economic migrants. And I get it. They're trying to escape a bad situation where they're not getting paid well or whatever the case may be. But there's a legal way of entering the country and by crossing the border illegally, you are committing a crime. You should be kicked out. You should not be granted citizenship. I'm sorry. That's that's how it is. We are a nation of laws and we need to enforce those laws. Here you go, Kent City. So, and I have plenty of friends that have come through the legal way and yeah, it took a little bit of time. They got their citizenship. They got, you know, they got their permanent residence and they got their citizenship, right? It's a process, but they are happy with that they did it the correct way. And they hate the people who did it illegally because it just, it makes their struggle seem just to, to get citizenship. I don't know, maybe struggle is not the right word, but it just la it laughs in the face of them doing it the correct way, especially when someone could just say, oh, yeah, I'm very poor. I live in Venezuela or something. I'm escaping communism. Okay, that one actually might be legit, you know, escaping uh, Venezuela, which is communism. Okay, that one might be legit. But, you know, for people that are just ex escaping bad economic conditions, that's totally different. So, anyways, guys, um, that's the video. I'm uploading this, so like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you all next time.